Hello everybody, how's it going? In this video, we're going to paint the bell gargoyle from the Dark Souls board game. I've undercoated the miniature with a flat gray spray primer, and we're gonna start off by base coating using tanned flesh from the Army Painter. I'm using a pretty large base brush, and you're gonna to wanna to go over all the fleshy details. So that's the wings, his little fleshy feather wings, the arms, the legs, the back, the chest, the flesh that shows through the face, anything that's flesh on this model, base coated in this tanned flesh color. The next step is to paint in all the armor and the bronze details. We're using weapon bronze from the Army Painter. Uh, use a little more control on this one, and this is kind of a thin paint, so you may need multiple thin coats, but you're going to work on base coating all the armor, the weapons, and the shield in this weapon bronze color. And with those two base coats applied, the next step is to start applying our washes and shades. We're going to use Gullum and Flesh, which is actually a contrast paint from the Citadel line of contrast paints and you're gonna paint this over the entire miniature. So that's all the flesh that you've painted and all the bronze details. Make sure it's not pooling in any of the recesses. So as it's drying, go around and soak up any excess with your brush, which otherwise it can leave some nasty shades. Now that the shade is dry, you can see it's really added a lot of detail to the entire miniature. The next step is to use Screaming Skull to base coat in the bone details on the miniature. So we're gonna be basing in these thin bone tendrils along his wing. So take your time and try not to hit the flesh that you've already painted. This is a thinner paint, so you may need multiple thin coats. This next step is going to add some detail and contrast to the bone colors that you've just applied. What we're going to do is use Gullum and Flesh and mix it in a two to one ratio with contrast medium. So more contrast medium than Goldman Flesh. And what you're gonna do is take that mixture and apply it to um, the wrinkled areas of the bone. It's kind of where, where the bone breaks into multiple sections. You can see it's got these little wrinkle lines. So take that mixture and put it in there subtly. You don't need very much, but this will add a nice effect to these bone details. And as you can see, that has added a really cool effect to the bone details on the miniature's wings. The next step we're going to do is to dry brush the flesh on the body, the arms, and the legs. I'm using AC Flesh from Delta Creative, um, which is a pretty random paint I picked up from a Joann's fabric store. Uh, it's a pretty light color, so it won't go on super heavy when you do dry brush, dry brush it. So just take your time with it and be sure to not hit the wings. We want the flesh on the wings to be especially dark. The next step is to use Screaming Skull to paint in the teeth. If you like the video so far, show some love by liking and maybe subscribing to this YouTube channel. The next step is to use Nylic Oxide to give a rusted, oxidized effect to the metallics. Uh, I'm using a kind of a medium brush and I haven't watered down the paint at all. And you're going to apply this in a sort of a randomy stippling fashion to the to the miniatures only on the bronze metallic details. Uh, you're going to want to stick to moat like stippling this around where the water would set after like a rain. So in the creases where water would settle, you don't want to put this on the entire area otherwise you'll lose some of that bronze color so just take your time uh, it's okay if you get it other places as it'll add to the effect it doesn't have to be like perfectly in the recesses um, but just go through stipple it on uh, with this kind of less is more so start with less let it dry and then if you feel like you want a little more go back in and just keep layering and adding in this until you get the effect that you want 
And with that final step applied, the miniature is done and it looks really cool. You can see I've painted the base black and I've put some red to indicate where the sight lines are on the, the tiles there. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make it flat black, but either way, the model looks really good now.